Hey everybody, it's Sam Bad Boy. And today I just want to guess story time. Let's talk about some things. Well, if anything I've learned. Uh that is I, well start beginning. I started my serious workout journey last January, so I've been in it for about a good year and a month. About a year around year almost two, about a year, two months. And the same thing I've learned is that you patience is key. You have to constantly believe in yourself. And when things are going hard, keep on going. You have to keep the drive. Even you have to stop. You have to keep the drive. And as I mean by that is I remember it was a time where I felt like I would never be able to get back on this workout journey. Even though I started my serious journey in January, I did attempt to start before at an earlier time. But due to an injury, I had to stop. It was a leg press injury. You know, leg press now, I actually can hit a thousand on leg press. But it was a leg press injury. What had happened was when I was doing my leg press, I wanted to rack it back up. There was someone closer to me. And they kind of bumped into the sides. On one side, they kind of bumped to the sides. So the weight kind of came down. Even though it was supposed to be ranked up. And I tried to stop it with my feet. But I stopped it. Enough, I stopped it so it wouldn't hit my chest. But it hit my feet. And it kind of almost bent my toes. So it caused me to not be able to work out for basically good months. So, so this happened, let's say, this happened in the summer 2016. So 2016, June. So that June, July, I couldn't work out. I go back to school that August 2016. You know, I'm I'm healed physically, but mentally, I'm just like, man, I don't want that to happen again. And then, like, that determination I had kind of went down. Like, not went down, but I didn't. I had determination. Like, I wanted to make gains. I wanted to get better. But I didn't have that same determination to actually make it happen. I just wanted to say it. So that, you know, that August to December, I, it was kind of sucky, you know, because I know how I used to look. Well, you know, even then, like when I first started that point, I was still kind of small, but like, you know, I was a little bit more definition on the abs and things like that. And so I remember how I used to look. I remember my old maxes were, and I felt like I was getting kind of weaker. And what made me really get, start to get back on it, I went from having abs to I had, then I had abs. I went from having like shredded abs to like abs, but they were kind of like almost fatty abs. Like I was starting to pick a lot of fat. And so I was like, man, I can't do this anymore, you know? So about time January comes. It's January 1st. That December, that, then December, I already decided to make, you know, make a change. So that was January 1st, 2017. I get back in the gym. The first day back, it kind of makes me not want to go back anymore. Because I get back in the gym. And, man, I don't mean like saying this to be honest, like, but I get back in the gym and I go to bench. And I'm pretty sure I think I maxed 115 on my bench. Terrible. It, but, I mean, before that on my bench, it wasn't the highest. It, it was probably like 115. 145, 150 at the most. I think it was like 145. But still, that was like over 135. So I went from like 145 to like not, almost barely even 115, like basically 110. And that was like bad. And I, so basically, on my first day, I couldn't even start repping 25s. I had to put 10s on each side. So I was basically just repping like 65 and 85. And then I went to go do curls. And like, my arms are just so skinny. Even from both angles, they're just so skinny. And the forearms, or certainly the, the forearms, and everything is so bad. And I was like, man, it's just like, ugh, like I don't even like looking at myself in the mirror while I'm curling and things like that. So that caused the determination to be low. But I remember nothing was feeling good. So when I left that day, I was kind of feeling like not going back. Like, I, like being honest, when I left that day, I was kind of feeling like not even going back to the gym. 
but I kept on sticking out. I kept on just being determined. And to be honest, for a good while, it, the, the, I think the best, faster results came when the apps. But for a good while, it was just slow results. Like, uh. But back then, I started, I was mainly bulking. So, just trying to pick a little bit more size. And the size came really slow, but it came. And when it did come, you know, I was able to easily notice I was getting bigger. And eventually, to the point, some people will also notice I'm making some gains. But the gains were kind of small. You know, but they were, they were noticeable. I was doing the mainly bulking period. I, then about the time it comes, timeline it comes about June, July, I'm starting to, that's when I think everything started to change. Because about the time it came June, July, about the time around June, I started to actually get real muscle pumps in the gym. Like, I was working hard before, but I finally, I did more research. I discovered how to get pumps. So around June time, I started getting better pumps, better workouts. And instead of straight bulking, I started cutting and just trying to build lean, man. So I started researching more on my diet. So instead of like trying to eat like a lot of honey buns and build up calories and stuff, I got calories the right, right way. And I started making gains. Like the whole thing started, started people probably would have thought I was at steroids at that point. And my progress started really spark. I started doing everything the right way. But I was all natural. And the gains started coming in. It started coming in. And, you know, you might make goals. You might say you want to be at a certain point at a certain time. But you can't sometimes expect that to happen. Like, you know, I might have made a goal. I wanted to bench a certain thing in November, but I get it in January. Yeah, I'm kind of mad about it. You might get mad about that, but how can you get mad? You still work hard. You put in the work. So, as I, so kind of message I want to say today, don't give up. You know, a lot of people... We thought I would have gave up after that first time trying to make this journey after I got that injury and I couldn't work out for a while. A lot of people thought I wouldn't have a termination to go back. But even after that injury, I was in my weakest form physically and I was weak mentally. I still pushed and I came back. So, you know, was, I pushed and I came back. So I, I went from a, I went from like, you know, regular form to my weakest form. And even though I was in my weakest form, I came back to now. I'm in my strongest form. I'm in my most leanest form. I'm in my best shape. So I went from worst to best. And see if it's going to get even better. This message is don't give up. Anything can happen. Any obstacle can get in your way, but it's up to you what you do. Do you give up and stop fighting? Or do you just keep fighting and keep pushing? But trust me, it'll pay off. One year ago from this day, I would not have thought I would have made it as far. I wouldn't have thought it would have been paying off, but I kept on going. Even if you don't know what you're going to do in the gym, gym, just keep showing up. Keep showing up and the games will pay off. Thank y'all for listening. Saying bad boy out.